Hey everyone, Chris Eschwig here, and I am with Blended.com. Um, you have watched some of my previous videos, I'm sure, and I hope that they have helped you, and um, as I hope this one has helped you as well, and I hope it will help you. Um, what we have going on in this video is going to be a comprehensive kind of exaggeration of what we just learned in the last video. Um, excuse the messy desktop. I am... Um, I've been pretty busy lately, um, hiking through the woods, and um, I've had some serious issues with um, some... And what we're going to do is open up 90s Nat PSD. Uh, we're going to triple click on that, and as you can see here, from the very beginning, what we have is we have contrast, we have accountability, we have eyes, we have blacks, we have whites, we have bandanas. And from this... It's, I mean, from the beginning, I'm not going to lie, it's a, it's a good picture. You know, we have this deep, dark shadow. We have this light, light. But what I'm going to do is show you a few little edits to keep the main composition of this picture intact while sprucing it up a little, adding a little flavor to the eye. So from the very beginning, what I'm going to do is I've got these preset layers over here to kind of show you what I've got planned. Um, so... We're going to click this Hue Saturation tool. Wow. From the, from the very beginning, your eye just automatically goes directly to the eyes. All of the other drowns out, and it's just the eyes, although we do have this deep, dark, beautiful purple. It's almost a plum, but it's not quite. But the next thing that would really help is we have a, a little bit of contrast up here that we need to get rid of so I'm gonna take this magic bucket tool and I'm gonna stay clear of the bandana staying right on the flesh of the eyebrow and we're just gonna slowly let that work itself out and automatically the composition of the picture is upgraded and we're gonna add a little down here just to kinda even things out and I think that works. Um, so for the next portion of this video, I'm going to bring in an expert on the uh, next part of this subject. And I'm going to bring in my friend, colleague, brother, and fellow countryman, Tibbs Eschwig. And um, here he is. Hey, Tibbs, coming in here. You might have heard me on the last video. Now, uh, for this photograph, before we even start to uh, manipulate, decide what's good, what's wrong, I just want to get to know the photo a little bit. So I'm going to toggle zoom uh, over and over again and just kind of explore the eyes of this picture. Uh, you do this with Control Z, D, T, percent sign, cache sign on a Mac, and Control Up on a PC. And when I feel that I'm really connected with the photo, <laughs> with the photo and I feel distant from it that only then can I get close to it <laughs> only then can I get close to it <laughs> I explore the nose the mouth um, and now now I'm really feeling now I'm really feeling like I can do this now what I'm gonna do is I grab my wet bu <laughs> I grab my wet bucket and do a control cats on a PC control cats on a Mac and it simply brings up my favorite musical <laughs> It simply brings up my favorite musical cats. <laughs> and what we simply do is uh, we just want to see where exactly we're going to put that. Uh, maybe give it a slight tilt. Um, yeah, I think I like that. It just kind of creates, makes it more interesting for us there. And uh, another thing, uh, if we could just go back um, on uh, the Natalie uh, Hue Bar here. Yeah, we're just going to explore this hue bar a little bit. So what I do is I grab the bar and I just dance around a little bit. We're just going to shake that back and forth, see what kind of uh, rainbow t <laughs> see what kind of rainbow colors we can get inside our mouths <laughs> while uh, we do this sort of hue saturation. Now, Chris, I think you were on to something with the color you had. You are right. I shouldn't have second-guessed you. I'm sorry I do that. It's okay. It's um, okay. We're just going to up the saturation. I see where you were going. Okay, yeah. And um, since I'm... Uh, more of an expert with wet bucket and band-aid wash. Um, I'm gonna have to hand this next part to uh, my brother, friend, my companion, um, Fliss. Hey, uh, this is uh, FlissBlended.com. Uh, what I see uh, coming through um, with the eyes and cats is um, a great Indian spirit. Now, uh, now, 
there's one thing that I, I see missing here, so I'm, I'm going to go ahead and turn down the opacity a bit on kitty cats, and <laughs> I'm going to go over to our, our uh, Gary Busey app that, that's uh, on every CS4, and we're going to go ahead and click that. We're going to go ahead and right drag, and that's a right uh, teeth drag on a Mac, and a right uh, plaque, it, uh, plaque um, drag on a PC. So we're going to go ahead and, and fit that um, to help uh, blend this composition. And now we're going to go ahead and grab our, our, wet, our wet brush and uh, just go ahead and, and splash down at Splash Mountain and, until we feel that uh, Busey's been um, uh, taken care of as, as thus. So here we are, just uh, wetting Busey and... Uh, <laughs> Uh, Chris, go ahead and guide them through a bit of more of that uh, wet wet process. Right, and and where he was going with this is right into um, the next part of the creative process that I feel is essential um, to any sort of creative uh, photographer, designer, whether it be you know anything you you like. But um, I just had an epiphany here. We're gonna um, go into iTunes. Um, we're just going to click on that and we're going to play an inspirational song by um, uh, and see already I'm hit with copious amounts of ideas and what this picture is missing is the wow factor so what I have done is I have google searched and and this is what it is is here um, and n now uh, bear with me this isn't exactly what I had pictured at first, but just stick with me. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to Hue Saturation. We're going to click on that. We're going to drag this slowly over. I'm going to make it a little more orange, a little more red. I like that. You see how the lights of her reds shining through like the glimmering sun. We're going to take that saturation up a bit. Might be a little harsh, but bear with me. And here, right where I wanted, look at the blues in the nose. Look at the greens in the hair. Everything looks so natural and so perfect. We're going to slowly drag that down, kind of get add a little composition, leave that Busey eye peering over their shoulders, clearly in view. And I think... And I, I like how you've uh, paralleled... Uh, Kidder cats with uh, Grandma Gigi's. It makes for a great composition, and now he's just gonna go ahead and rub out all the wrong. Mm -hmm. I also like um, the story this particular photo kind of tells me. Yeah, uh, the stages of life. You know, I go, I, I, I start out as a, a musical cat, and then I turn into a Natalie, then I'm an old Busey. And then I'm an old woman at a computer, you know, that's life, we deal with it, we face it every day. And I think this, this picture, not only does the contrast and the quality reflect that, but um, sort of the aesthetic, the overall aesthetic and framing, I think, uh, really helps portray that for some of our uh, photographs. Um, and now we, we see nat, 90s Nat Eye peering, and we say to ourselves, uh, yes, we've reached that stage where we're near completion. Um, but don't forget to go to Blinda.com and pick up your Bru uh, Busey brush set. That's, that's a free set. Mm -hmm. uh, you can go ahead and, and, and grab that and throw it on your wet brush. And this is all compliments of the late, great Gary Busey. And might I just add, CS4 has, um, it's been so great to us offering extended wet buckets. <laughs> and you know, whether it was my mom, uh, you know, as a little child, my mom bringing home a banana bunch or my... Dad taking the belt to me, I learned that tools are an effective, a very effective way of, mm -hmm. of making your son do what you want. So mm -hmm. don't forget to use all the nice tools we have right here on the, on the left side of your screen. You'll find Cowboy Lasso. You'll find... Uh, Chris, what is this uh, lovely piece? Um, that one's uh, Hermlin's Mitt. <laughs> and then the next so we one... Hermlin's Mitt. Uh, Springboard Crip. Um... Obviously that one. Um, then the, the one below it, um, we have the 
the magic This is the healing band-aid. sprout, and we go ahead and we mm-hmm. just can rub it all out with a healing sprout. Right, and we have um, the splash <coughs> stick. Also known as the bristle tip. And we have the um, clone, clone clamp, uh, similar to a clone stamp, but don't get it confused. There is a difference. Um, right here we have the um, reverse magic. Um, below that we have the rectangular square. Um, and that's good for rub outs and rub ons. <laughs> And particularly works well on something like this picture we have here. Um, and below that, we have the Bucket of Joy, um, spewing joy all over your image, and a well, neat packaged thing. Um, here we have the teardrop. If you're just going for a set, maybe a sadder composition, you can mm-hmm. uh, throw that on there, and everyone's... Uh, Includes a complimentary frown. And and now they're offering Kaleidoscope Teardrop in some of the later CS um, expansions. Now, and don't forget, this little, you see this little uh, um, bitty triangle? If you, That designates, if you hold on this, um, you can get a magic grabs of other uh, uh, specialty tools, such as um, Smudgems and Sharpie. And so that's that's going to be indicated on um, applicable applicable um, uh, tools. So uh, this is uh, the finished tutorial from Blended.com, and we would just like to to wish all of our listeners a happy birthday, wouldn't we, guys? Uh, yeah. happy, happy birthday! birthday. And um, what we learned here in this video. I think, I believe, is something that cannot be acquired in a classroom. It cannot be acquired in nature. It cannot be acquired walking with a sweetums. It can only be acquired through trial and error Mm -hmm. and a lot of time grinding with the picture. Really getting in there, seeing what you can find, digging it up, and then exposing it. Yeah. And you know, Chris really brings about that point of how we need to explore some of our art. We need to we need to get in there. <laughs> we need to get in there. We need to find answers. We need exploration. Um, adventure is always something I'm one for when working with photographs. Rub ins, rub ons, comet tails, swirls, squares, frames, um, eyes, mouths. This is the sort of thing we're looking for, in, and your clients will be looking for this as well. So. What we have here is the the final product. We're gonna just um, s- just uh, command click power off on this, and we're gonna see the original image. It, it's good, but ah, so much better. And we're we're just gonna zoom out and really get to see the composition of this. Um, we're gonna do that again. We're gonna command Q, and then on a PC, and then on a Mac, we are going to. And as you can clearly tell, the difference is innumerable. And the colors here are just really pop. And I think that what we have done to this image is really going to help you out in the future. So stick with us, and I hope you enjoy our next video.